I have to be honest with you, my tastes and fragrance have changed dramatically over the past six months to a year. And as I've incorporated new and interesting fragrances in my collection, I find myself looking at my collection in a new way and really being honest or trying to be very honest with myself about what fragrances I am using and what fragrances I just haven't used in a very long time. And those fragrances may include fragrances that I previously have really liked and raved about, but now I haven't used them and it might be time to get rid of them. So what I'm doing with these perfumes is I'm putting them in a box, putting them under my bed, and if I don't think about those fragrances in the next few months, I'm gonna declutter them. But I'm gonna share some of those fragrances with you here today, and if this is your first time watching my channel, hello, my name is Anya, I love perfume, and I post here every single Wednesday along with bonus videos in between. I also have a fragrance Instagram and TikTok under the username Anushka Fragrances. So, I'm going to start off with one that, honestly, I might keep, just because every single time I talk about this one, I get a lot of engagement because people have very polarizing opinions on it. <laughs> this is Latafa Opulent Musk, and I'm going to say this, I have bought a lot of Latafa perfumes, so there are going to be quite a few Latafa fragrances in this video, along with some other brands as well, but that's just how it's going to be. So, this one is a very intense fragrance. And as I'm smelling it, I kind of I, I kind of like it, but it almost has a bit of a, it, it's a little bit intense. So this is kind of like an intense saffrony musk with a bit of citrus, and it's, it can be abrasive. So this is a perfume that some people really like and some people really don't like. I would say about 20% of people seem to really like this one. The other doesn't. So it's a polarizing scent. It's not necessarily one that I feel comfortable recommending anymore because some people buy it and then they really don't like it. And I personally, even though I'm smelling it now and thinking, okay, this smells good, I can't remember the last time I reached for it. So it's a really pretty scent to my nose, but sometimes I feel awkward talking about it. And honestly, I've been wearing a lot of other perfumes. So this one is a maybe. We'll see about this one. Um, I decluttered Opulent Red. I do not like that perfume. Um, I kept this, but I cannot remember the last time I wore it. So there's that. This next perfume, gosh, I feel guilty about this one. Um, okay. This is Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy. And even now, I like this one, but would I wear it? Probably not. So this kind of like smells like very like shampoo-y, like what you would think a blueberry shampoo would smell like, like a blueberry berry shampoo, or just like a berry shampoo in general. This smells like shampoo. So it's like a young scent. It's a celebrity fragrance. Um, it's like your quintessential 2000 celebrity fragrance. And it smells nice, but I can't think of like I don't think I'll be wearing this one anytime soon because I literally have like so many other fragrances I'd rather wear than this even though this is like a very cozy scent to me I've worn this um, at night in the past and I really liked it um, I think I've made like a, a little bit of a dent um, yeah I have nice scent memories associated with it but I do not think I'll be wearing this anytime soon so I'm kind of conflicted because I don't have a lot of space left to put my perfumes so I'm kind of like I'm trying to be very specific with okay this is what I can keep and this is what I'm getting rid of um another one I'm kind of like mm, I don't know this is like another maybe okay um weigh in in the comments if you have any opinions let me know but this is by Latafa this is Yara Tous now <sighs> This is another maybe for me. I really, really like this in the summer. And this came out last summer. It was like super popular. Um, everyone was crazy about it. And it it's kind of like a mango scent with florals. Um, I, I'm about to sound like a real big, big snob. I have tried niche mango scents that I prefer to this. And while this smells good, and it's a good, affordable mango option, I don't know 
I don't know, it's kind of like giving me like a shampoo-y kind of aspect, and I don't know if I'm into that right now. Like, I don't, like, I don't see myself reaching for this. Again, maybe my mind will change. I don't know. It's a fun scent. It's good. Um, it's, like, smells like a fruity mango with florals, basically. Um, it's not bad. Um, I think it's cute. Again, I kind of have to think, okay, like, do I enjoy this scent enough to actually keep it in my collection, or would it just be better for me to rehome this scent? Um, yeah, Yara 2's. Uh, everyone was, like, hyping this one up, and I can't remember the last time I heard anyone talk about it on social media, so I think that that was a little bit of a, like, a scent that fizzled away, so to speak. Um, okay, so this next one, I have it in the box because I actually keep a lot of my fragrances in their boxes because I have them out, and sometimes it's just convenient for me. Um, so this is Eternity by Calvin Klein. It's nice. Do I remember the last time I wore this one? No. It's just a nice scent. It's, yeah, I mean, it's it's nice. When did I wear this? I can't remember the last time. I think I bought this like when I was first getting into fragrances and I knew nothing about perfume. So I bought this and I bought uh, Aqua Allegoria by Giorgio Armani. That one I like, and I actually do wear that one on occasion. This one, Eternity for Women, can't remember the last time I wore that one. I don't think it's the fragrance for me. The next one I'm considering getting rid of is Fancy by Jessica Simpson. This is one that I talked about, I think, in early fall in one of my videos. And I think I went through a phase of like wearing this one every now and then. And it is a really pretty scent. It's just like a very... Uh, juicy red berry scent with, with a little bit of like a cashmere undertone. It smells nice. It also has a bit of fruitiness as well. I would say um, I like this more than Midnight Fantasy. So it's a good one. Um, however, this is why I'm considering getting rid of it. When I was at Sun Explorer, I smelled uh, Gisada Ambassador for Women. And this has very similar facets um, as Fancy by Jessica Simpson, but it's way more refined. It's uh, less sweet, but like less sweet in the celebrity scent way. Um, and I, yeah, I like this one a lot more. Um, and this is actually pretty affordable. So I was thinking like theoretically, if I was looking for a similar scent profile, but I wanted some more refinement, I should probably just go for this one um, and put this on my wish list instead of keeping this one around because... There's something about like that sweet, um, that sweet celebrity scent that I just I don't really like anymore, um, and it's unfortunate because I mean it's a really pretty scent. Um, people still really like it, and I understand why. It's, it, this is actually a really like, pretty perfume, but I have found something that's a little bit better, or that's that's better in my opinion, and that's probably what I'll end up getting because, again, I have to be honest with what I'm using and what I'm not. So if there's a scent profile or there's a fragrance that I'm not reaching for, what's the point of keeping it around? You know what I mean? So this next perfume I'm considering getting rid of for the sole reason that I think this is a little bit of like a very specific scent profile that I don't usually go for. However, the fragrance itself I really like. This is Encre Noir à l'Extreme by Lalique. This is like vetiver. Honestly, actually, you know what? Hold on. You know what? I might change my mind about this. It's like a very like intense dark vetiver. The reason I'm considering getting rid of this is because this is not a scent profile I reach for all the time. But there's a darkness about it that I kind of like. Even though this is like a huge bottle, I don't know why I bought this big bottle. This is like the 100 milliliter. I could have just gone for like the 51, I don't know if they have a 51, um, and it's kind of like, I don't like the way this cap is like not stable, um, I don't know if it was like this when I first bought it or if it just happened, but 
I don't know. This is a very strong maybe. I might honestly uh, just decant this and then declutter the bottle because the bottle takes up a lot of room. So that's why I'm kind of like, mm, should I keep it? Should I get rid of it? This is, okay, it's one of those unisex scents, but honestly, it would smell good on either a man or a woman. So this is, in my opinion, a unisex scent. I think it would smell great on a man or a woman, but if I smell this on a guy, it would be like extra special. Um, this is just like a dark, I, I, I consider this a dark scent. And yeah, there's something to it. I'll, I'll say that there's something to it, but the bottle is quite bulky and... I mean, I have barely, like, I've barely worn this. Um, I mean, is that a dent? That's a bit of a dent, but not, not that much. Um, so, yeah, I can't remember the last time I wore this. However, it might be worth revisiting. I like the opening a little bit better than the dry down. But then again, I'm smelling it on the paper box. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. If I think about this in a few months again, I will most likely not declutter it but I'm pretty much leaning towards decanting it and then decluttering the rest of the bottle. So we'll see. So this next one is an example of a scent profile that I liked in the past, but I haven't really reached for this fragrance recently. So that's why I'm considering decluttering it. It's Frank Olivier Oud Vigny, and this is a nice fragrance. It's like an Oud Rose combination with an emphasis on the vanilla. It's pretty, but I will say this, whenever I want something with a similar scent profile to this, I typically reach for Sugar Leather by Umi Um That one to me is a very refined fragrance that has a similar scent profile to this, like with like that sweetness, but a little bit of a, a little bit of like a depth to it. So yeah, this is not a bad fragrance by any means. I think it's actually like a really good affordable oud rose combination and I like it because it's a little bit smoother, but I prefer another fragrance and that's Sugar Leather by Umi Mad, which I love and I wear that one. And I think it might be time to kind of consider, okay, so like what fragrances have a similar scent profile and which one of those fragrances do I wear more of? So yeah, this is again, a maybe. Lots of maybes in this video. Um, but that's the thing, these are fragrances that I previously have been like, okay, you know what, I love these scents, these are fragrances I recommended to you. A lot of these fragrances are affordable because, I mean, of course, when I first started out with fragrances, I was getting a lot of affordable perfumes, and now I think I buy less, but I really go for, I would say, quality over quantity. Not saying that these are bad by any means, but I, my tastes have changed. I'm way more specific about what I introduced into my collection. And I mean, not gonna lie, the last, I mean, I think the last five niche bottles that I purchased, I love. I love and I adore. And I can't say the same for all of these. I like them. Do I love them? No. So that's that's a little bit of like an inner conundrum right there. But yeah, that's it for this video. A little bit of like a more casual approach. You kind of got to see my thought process as we progressed throughout the video. Like, should I keep this right now? So uh, let me know if you have any strong opinions on any one of these fragrances. I see the thing is like these are kind of nostalgic to me because I'm like at one point I really liked these fragrances and in many ways I still might. Um, but do they provide value to my collection? Do they provide value to my life? And what's the point in keeping something when you just haven't used it in a very long time? So that's where I'm going to leave you. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of different format and found it interesting. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.